This stream might look calmer now, but it wasn't hours ago. When it rained this dawn, the water levels rose and covered the entire bridge, resulting in flooding. Now residents of this community ended up blocking the road, preventing vehicles from going or coming. Now this is a major bridge because it connects two municipalities, Okaikwe North and Ga East Municipality. But the residents here say this is a perennial problem. The flood has taken over everything again. So we are pleading to the government to come to our end, they come and raise the bridge. They bury the bridge on the floor or on the ground. I think they have to raise it. The contractor who did this thing, I was, I'm still repeating it again, he have to look at the Christian village hill and look at the paraku before construct the bridge. And I think that the bridge is high, it won't, it won't, it won't disturb anybody. You can see Achimontan Bridge, Achimontan overhead, and the Apenkwa and Co. So that is how I suppose we are pleading. They should come to our end and come and do this thing for us. This thing has been happening all the time and we have repetition of all video uh, coverages every day. Governments will come, will go. Governments will come, will go. We just want actions to be taking place. Uh -huh. they should, this thing is made over so many years. If this bridge has been raised a little bit, these problems will be solved. You understand? Uh -huh. So every day, uh, video coverage is uh, NADMO every day, everywhere. It's disturbing us this time. But NADMO says these are as a result of the buildings you see here. Along the banks of this bridge, in the middle where the stream passes, to your left and to your right, you see buildings scattered across. Now NADMO says anytime it rains heavily, the water levels rises to the windows of these buildings, preventing the water to flow freely. And that is one of the reasons why flooding occurs anytime it rains. Um, three weeks back, Ga East and uh, Okankwe North, we both came here. We both came here to make assessment. And when we went there, you could see that people are putting their structures right on the river banks, that the flooding gets through their rooms on the window, above the window level. As I'm talking to you now, Okanko North is doing dredging. We are also doing dredging because when we do it and they don't do it, it can't work zero. But it has gone into a place, look at this place. Where would the excavator drive through? It cannot. And when it even dredges, where is he going to put it? They build along the places. Mm. So it's not about we having difference. No, there are no differences. The fact is that it's two assemblies that are sharing the boundary mm. and we are working together. We need to call spade a spade. Since they are there, those structures must be moved or else every year we'll talk about it. So the aftermath of the flooding has resulted in a heavy vehicular traffic. When a new steam got here, waste management company Zoom Lion were clearing the debris that happened as a result of the flooding. The municipal chief executive of Ga East was also here but wouldn't speak to us. So the question is, when will this problem be solved? Time will tell. Kenneth, Jesse for joining us.